If you were the big bad evil guy, what kind of minions would you want to recruit or would value the most? I mean, judging hmm. from our Facebook group... <laughs> I short stack. <laughs> um, like, I mean, it, it's got a wee bit out of hand, if yeah. I'll be honest with you guys. But, it's uh, pure short stack porn at this point. But if that's something you're interested in, go on over to the Facebook group. group. Check it out down below. <laughs> but here, let's get into this one. The most powerful and loyal warriors and mages of the land who are dissatisfied with the status quo. The world's monarchies are corrupt and outdated. It's time for a new form of rulership that exists to serve the people that they exist to serve me. Those who kneel will be granted relative freedom and prosperity, so long as they swear loyalty to me. Those who fight will be destroyed and swept away with the old order. There is only one justice that matters in this world. Mine. These great warriors and spellcasters are my very arms and hands, acting through my will and their loyalty and obedience will be rewarded handsomely. So long as they are not on duty, they have freedom to spend their time as they please. Provided they don't try to plot against me. Right, I'm just saying, but this happened so many times in twentieth century, it's not even funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you know, if you wanna like if you wanna have a coup, this is like This is how you a get coup. a coup. <laughs> this is this is how to start a coup one oh one. Um pretty spot on though, I must say, yeah. because seeing as it did happen so many times in twentieth first century, obviously it works. Yeah. So uh yep, good answer. Yeah. I, I appreciate that one. I'd mostly want small, diminutive ones to act as servants, and incredibly clever and industriously skilled ones to invent things. Gnomes. He wants gnomes. (laughs) He wants gnomes, (laughs) yeah. They should be there to make my life as an overlord easier and more comfortable. And once I've conquered the world to make the citizens' life easier and more comfortable, I don't see the point of relying on other people who are stronger than you. You'll quickly grow to be dependent on them and the ease they provide. Should they fall you shall follow. An overlord should strive to perfect himself in every possible way, without any ancient artefacts or aid from others when possible. Letting one's minions do all the work will make you grow stagnant and comfortable with one's own power, when one should strive constantly to attain more power at all times. Not to mention, it'll hog all the fun of conquering lands and slaying enemies. I think he brought up some really good points there. I, I get it. I get the whole concept of not becoming stagnant mm-hmm. and having to rely on others. I, I get having. I, th- I feel I like, it, but th- I do think you need some brawn. You do, you do, you really do. You can't do it all by yourself. No, you can't do all the heavy lifting. Like I what? get, I get the whole act of well, um, th- uh, you know, making your powers more powerful and you know, working to make them like the highest possible of what they can be yeah but it's hard well what i'm thinking is like, i think a good good idea of what he wants is either gnomes or skaven and mm-hmm. if he gets skaven once you get like some gatling guns you know mm-hmm. i mean like you know do you really need to worry about you know what i mean once you once you invent automatic weapons in a fantasy system it's like hmm or at hmm. least two that'll yeah two that'll live side by side anyway one's a servant and one so you're clever maybe ants Ants, N- yes. You know what, actually, ants with a little robotic <laughs> helmet on. Could you imagine? On. Big ants. Yeah, big ants. No, yeah, big ants would fuck that, you up. That's what he wants. He wants ants with, like, little robotic, like, tinfoil hat helmets <laughs> yes. that have, like, we, uh, ins- like, you know, we robotic tent- uh, yes. tentacles on the top. That can operate diggers and forklifts. Perfect. Honestly, <laughs> I couldn't imagine a better version. I have opposable thumbs. <laughs> oh, fuck Amazing. No. Dick-sucking elves. <laughs> Look, the guy's almost, all right? <laughs> Like, you know, let's be serious. I'm, I, half of you boys in the comments will be like, oh, I would never have that. Lies. Guys. Guys. I, I know, like, I've already said, we've seen the state of that Facebook group. It's, <laughs> it's went bad. It's turned really bad in, like, a matter of two weeks. The dick suckery must be at its peak of excellence. <laughs> this, <laughs> I, this is of critical importance for the completion of my evil plans and giving customers the highest caliber of malevolent enterprise possible. Wait, this guy just wants to be a pimp. Yeah, it's pure pimp. Evil Co. <laughs> <laughs> evil Co. has been a global leader in fine, high quality maliciousness, and we remain dedicated to that cause. Sadly, all elves are known to slurp cock with expertise. A racial talent, apparently. <laughs> That's why our team here at Evil Co., Evil That Cares, <laughs> has added some other criteria for applicants. But sluttery and slaniciousness have been added as requirements for employment in our latest series of evil schemes. 
Evil Co. is glad to report that these added specifications will serve to screen out an estimated 5% of potential ELF applicants. Rest assured that the project will be fully implemented within two quarters. In an effort to get you, the customer, the evil you need, Evil Co. has collaborated with Dry Co., lacing the air with aphrodisiacs since 1135. <laughs> Professionals estimate that Dryco's patented Slut 500 formula will reduce the employee's screening process by 48%. I mean, that's just a harm with a lot of extra steps. Lot, yes. I mean, like, you know, like, he just wants to like, justify that harm. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, like, if you really want the harm, you can have the harm. What are they going to use it for, though? Um, I would imagine spy networks and stuff like that. I would imagine a lot of spies would be... What do you call them? Oh, honeypots? Is that what you call them? <laughs> yeah, a honeypot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, possibly a honeypot, but a honeypot, is, I think it's generally reserved for the underage types. No, I, I know what you mean, but I think it it, it is used also for um, just getting information in general. Yeah. From people that they need to get information from. Well, I mean, look, it's a good Hire a whore <laughs> and she goes in with a listening device. Yeah, you I know? suppose it's not a... Like it's like it's it's that much of a troop. It must work. Yeah. You know. So uh, yeah. What do you guys think? Is there any other possibility of this actually being a success other than just being a pretty high end escort and service? We'll call it an escort and service. Right? <laughs> we call well, that. Yeah, we'll call it that. But like you know, like we all we all know what the fuck it is. <laughs> like, come on, next post, next post. Competent and well rewarded and respected. I would treat my minions like family. I would demand they think and improvise on their own instead of needing my input for all decisions, so long as they answer yes when I asked. Will doing this make my lord and nation better or stronger? Unnecessary cruelty would be frowned upon and establishing a solid infrastructure, agriculture and production is paramount. Ensuring the people under my care are indeed cared for is a big deal too. Ensuring adequate supplies and growth among even remote and rural areas are equally important. <laughs> well, you see, the thing is with communism, they didn't bother with any of that type yes, of shit. but it sounds of what they put down on paper to begin with. <laughs> yeah, but like, I honestly, though, like, the thing is, that's what doesn't get me. I think this is why fascism did so well compared to communism. Like, I know that's not exactly a good way to put it, mm. but in comparison, they... It's probably more of a tyranny. It is tyranny, it is yeah. tyranny, but as long as you treat the people that you need to treat mm -hmm. well they'll kind of be okay with you yeah. if that makes I don't know I don't know maybe I'm maybe I'm throwing stuff out there yeah. and, well, let's just keep going the idea is that I am absolutely going to take this bitch over I will outright destroy those who oppose me and all nations will fall to my might and expanding influence along the way I'm going to make the captured territories and people so much better off that they will show the utmost loyalty to my growing empire and my minions share this mindset I think the Mongols did something similar to that. Yeah. That sounds an awful lot like the Mongol <laughs> tactics of, okay, if we're extremely brutal all the time, we're not going to have any, like, uprisings. We're not going to have to mm -hmm. deal with any of that type of stuff. Um, feared and respected type mm -hmm. of thing, you know? It isn't enough to merely destroy the world. I'm going to take it. I will take it in such a way that the vast majority of the world will demand that I keep it. My minions will respect the weak farmers and teachers and elderly. Okay, well, better than Pol Pot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they will advance my message of loyalty being rewarded by also rewarding loyalty. Yeah, it sounds like Hitler. Yeah, it really <laughs> that sounds but, like Nazi. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? This, but this requires a cult of personality. Yeah. And I could imagine this turn very similar into like a North Korea. Yeah. Sort of ordeal. And I don't know how well it will last with, okay, I suppose if you are going to be this evil overlord, you never intend to die. And so I yeah. suppose I'm factoring that in, which yeah. isn't really. Terrible monsters will become respected members of society and the rivers of blood we spilled along the way will make the lands fertile for millennia of growth. That sounds like a thousand year like. Yep. That's good. <laughs> that that last. Yep. I know, that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, a thousand year like. Hmm, sounds about right. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think he's got he's got it I all on it. paper. I think what he's going for, I think that would achieve yeah. what he wants to achieve. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, sounds a bit spot on to me. Hey, guys. Do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do, too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do, too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human biddies. We got lizard 
Betties, we got orc betties, oni betties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. The elites, orcs and hobgoblins, the specialists, goblins, imps and kobolds. A man after my own heart. <laughs> the grunts, gnolls, ogres, cultists, skeletons and gargoyles personal stuff. Goblins, imps and kobolds again. <laughs> I'd force them to sing little slave and soldier songs and do Team Rocket-esque yes! mottos whenever they encounter the party or other important people. That'd be pretty cool, I think. I love this, honestly. I, yeah, I, I, I want to like be that. dance number and stuff. Yeah. I want a dance number. I want a goblin being shot out of a locket yeah. at the end. Uh, and then like, yeah. No, this is perfect. Yeah, no, totally this. Although I would like some skeletons. But I don't know. I don't think I'm going for like the whole neck monster vibe. I can't be doing with the whole rattling twenty four seven. Yeah, that, that all my bones <laughs> all day every day. Although I do like the idea of maybe okay, okay, if we can have the goblins, but I want the goblins to be able to sing she sea shanties as well. Yeah, yeah. I just want goblins to mop my floors and shit and like sing little songs and it to be like a like almost like a do Disney. Do you want them to have fat titties as well? If they want to have big fat titties, like you know, I'll feed them well. So yeah, you know, we have goblins with big fat titties, by the way. Oh, yeah, the stores, by the way, if, if you want to go and have a look, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, check them out down below. We do have. She got the big old titties, and she's even got a locket. So, oh, oh, go on! I can already feel feel the mice being dragged down to go crazy in the description. Show me the titties. If I were the big bad evil guy. I'd style myself as the supervillain Vanderbaren. I'd remotely command vast armies of mechanical drones through robotic proxies of myself. Command the self-destruct if ever captured, of course. Wait, is this not what do you call the bad guy from Sonic? Doctor Robotnik. Dr. <laughs> yes. Is this Doctor Robotnik? <laughs> My supervillain theme would be Protestant capitalism. And I'd make drones designed to harvest data in their duties, and then build better versions of themselves. Just in case the heroes ever trace me to my lair, I keep a monstrous pseudo shoggoth biodrone made from my own genetic material to be thrown at the heroes while I make my mistake from the collapsing lair. Wait, wait, is that not Nemesis from Resident Evil now? That sounds like Nemesis from Resident <laughs> Evil. Then when I turn up alive a few months later, I can look at the heroes in the eyes and say, rumours of my demise were greatly exaggerated. Wait, I've heard that from somewhere. Or if it's a fantasy setting, pick related. Fucking short again. <laughs> look, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but it, it just looks like the boys really want an army of short, short stacks. stacks. For themselves, literally not to do yeah, anything like, else. Oh, yeah. Just like, for themselves. Like, 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 fuck all that taking over the world shit. Just give me an army like, of short just, stacks. Yeah, just, just, just give me the pin, all right? I'm, I'm happy with the pin. <laughs> give me, give, the, me, give me the pin. What? Give me the gun. The gun. The gun squad. The goblin pin. The, oh, for God's sake. Well, that's <laughs> fucking dreadful, Megan. That's actually dreadful. Orcs and goblins are the creatures that any wannabe Dark Lord should desire the most. They have consistent and reliable strengths, reproduce quickly, are naturally evil, and slide into the minion role like a glove. Humans will betray you out of pride or greed or an urge to moral fag. The undead tend towards being slow and mindless and having ridiculous weakness like sunlight. The demons keep destroying until there's nothing left to rule over after you've won. Yeah, I don't mm. feel like demons would make a great... Yeah. And also, you need to make packs with them and, like, you know, yeah. they're, they're going to do you out of or something. Orcs are the basic bitch of minions, though. I mean, like, you know, they are solid... Goblins. They're reliable. You can't really go too long. No. I feel like I would more go the undead route just because I like more of a hive mind hmm. mentality going on. Yeah. And I like the whole idea of them all working as one. Yeah. Or maybe actually, well, I do love mind flares and stuff. And I would like to maybe incorporate them. However, I just don't feel like I could go over an elder brain without mm. them trying to, again... Trying to fuck you over yeah, in some it, sense of the that's word. That's the problem. Like, you know, in I want to have... the word. I, <laughs> 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 like, I, but I, I do, I want to have very powerful minions. But at the same time, you can't let them be too powerful. Because then and they'll you, over... They'll and over you can't have them be too malicious. Or, or too, too smart. Smart or because too Because then, yeah. You know, that you need to have a bit of leeway. Mm. So short stacks it is. Sexy short stacks, and I can just be a minor um, 
bandit lord. <laughs> yeah. I'd be happy with that. Yeah. I'm not going to be no evil war lord. I'm not well, going to the California lo- king bed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, like you know, like, I'm not going to judge anyone here. Like you know, um, but look, I think that's what we're going to end it well with. Yeah. Um, if you guys are interested, like you know, we've been talking an awful lot about these filthy, filthy smut models. We do have quite a few of them up for sale. If you yourself are a budding overlord looking to expand your reaches definitely your dick sucking elf army <laughs> go on down have a look yeah go ahead check them out check we've got tons of like, models it does help us we out also a lot. have a lot and of subclasses in there as well oh, so if yeah. you're interested in that the, the only reason why I bring this up is because this video we did talk a lot about like you know horrible things that happened in 20th century you know stuff mm. like that it's not good for YouTube. This video will most definitely be demonetized, so it is a great way to actually help us out and be able to do stuff like yeah. this yeah. at the same time. You know, because I don't really like the whole Patreon and stuff because like, oh, give me money, give, give, give. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But at least, like, you know, you guys. Are at least if you stuff. buy a model, you get something with it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It helps us out. You get yourself some really but cool models. But while you're here, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.